All right, guys, you guys wanted this. Today, we are going to solve arrays, data structure problems on Hacker Rank. I know you guys really wanted this instead of doing live stream, so I'm going to do tutorials now. So for now, on, I'm going to do tutorials. How we're going to do this is basically I'm going to solve all the arrays questions and the stacks and the queues then the trees, maybe linked lists, heaps, graphs, and then so on and so forth. So yeah, I'll, we're going to try to solve all the data structure problem. But we're going to try to, yeah, we're just going to try to solve all of them. All right, and I'm going to explain to you guys how to solve them. So I already solved this one. Um, basically, this problem is called arrays DS. Um, you're given an array, and you just need to reverse it. Yeah, you just have to reverse the array. So um, there's a couple of ways to do this. I'll just show you guys what I think is the best way to do this. So um, what you can do is what you could do is um, you could start from the beginning and loop to the middle. And each time you loop to the middle, you swap it with the end. So this is going to be one swap with two, and then four is going to swap with three. So to do that, um, if I'm looping from beginning to the end, I'm just going to loop from beginning to the end. Uh, not beginning to the end. I'm going to loop from beginning to the middle, and I'm just going to take the la the length of the array, like the final length of the array. So in, in our case, there's four, and we're just gonna subtract four from each of the current index. So as you can see here, um, one, four, three, two, right? Uh, arrays index from zero instead of one. So the index at here is gonna be zero, one, two, and then three, correct? So then if, if I'm going to reverse all the values I'm going to loop through from the beginning to the middle, and I'm just going to swap it with the end. So to swap it with the end, I'm going to take the length of the array, which is what we call the n in this case, right? It's 4 in this case, and we're just going to subtract by each of the our index of our front index, and that's going to give us the index at the end, which is the last value at the end, and then we could swap it. So if in the code, it will look something like this. So I'm going to loop from... Bit, from zero and we're going to loop to the middle so size over two and then I'm to i plus plus and then here i'm just going to swap array at i with r at actually do they want do they want us to can we modify the original array or okay uh i'm going to assume we can modify it so it's going to be Array.size minus one minus i. And then we return a. So basically, all we're doing is we're just going to loop through from the beginning to the middle. And then we take the last value, the last index, and subtract it by i. And that'll give us the give us the last value at the end. And then we just we just swap it with the value at the beginning, and we loop through this until the middle. So then this one will swap with two and four will swap with three. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, we could submit. I believe this is correct. Yeah, and that's it. It's basically just this problem. We successfully solve arrays DS. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this quick tutorial. Um, rate, comp, subscribe, help us get to 10K subs. And, uh, I have a lot of time, so I might go over the next problem and upload that later today. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.